हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू अमूल्यास एकेडमी यूट्यूब चैनल वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबउट बैनरी सर्च ट्री इंप्लीमेंटेशन इन पैथन प्रोग्रामिंग लांग्वेज टूडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल विल सी वेदर दि गिवर नोड इज प्रेजेंट इन दि ट्री और नॉट इन अदर वर्ड्स वी आर रईटिंग दि मेथड फॉर सर्च ऑपरेशन सो हियर आफ्टर इंसर्ट मेथड आई टेक् डी एफ एंड हियर आई टेक् दि मेथड नेम एज सर्च because we are writing this method for the search operation i am taking the method name as search and here the first parameter will be self that is the object itself followed by data that is if i want to search given node is present in the tree or not for that first we need the data of the given node so that's why here you need to pass the data of the node which i want to search and inside this we need to define the search method body so while performing the search operation first we need to compare the data of the given node with the data of the root node so first you need to search root node key whether it is equal to given data so here data is nothing but the data of the node which i want to search whether it is present in the tree or not so first i need to compare the root key with the data if it is true so that means the given node is present in the tree so you can print a message that is node is found if root key is equal to equal to given data the node's data then that means the given node is present in the tree so we can print a message if not then next i need to check whether data is smaller than the root key if data is smaller than the root key then i need to search that node in the left subtree right and if the data is greater than the root key then i need to search in the right subtree so just check data is less than root key if data is less than root key if it is true then search in the left subtree it is the rule of the binary search tree right the nodes with the smaller key will be present in the left subtree of the root key nodes with the key which is greater than the root key will be present in the right subtree that's why we will compare data with the root dot key if data is less than root dot key roots key then search in the left subtree else search in the right subtree if data is not less than the roots key then that means data is greater than the roots key so we need to search in the right subtree so these are the steps we need to follow while performing the search operation first we need to compare the given node's data with the root key if it is equal if it is equal that means node is found if it is not equal then i need to compare the root key with the data whether data is less than root key if it is true then we need to search in the left subtree if it is false that means the given node's data is greater than the root's key so we need to search in the right subtree so let's write this step first step is we need to check root's key is equal to equal to data so i'll use if condition for that if root dot key so here i can't write root right here self is representing the object so you need to take self dot key is equal to equal to data if it is true then i need to print a message that is node is found if node is found then no need to do anything else so i'll write the return statement so if this condition is true then it will print this message and then it will come out of this method if you don't want to use return here you can use else here if else here in every method the first parameter will represent the object itself here because we'll call this method using root object here root dot search so here self is nothing but root object so self dot key is equal to equal to data means root dot key is equal to equal to data we are checking the first node key with the data if it is equal then node is found otherwise if it is not equal then i'll check whether data is less than the roots key so data is less than self dot key here if i want to check the roots key then i need to take self dot key so if it is true if data is less than self dot key then that means i need to search the given node in the left subtree right in the left subtree we may face two situations the first situation is left subtree can be empty and the second situation is it can contain left subtree can contain one or more than one node 
we need to write the separate condition for these two case for example this is the root node this is a tree and it contains some right subtree but it doesn't contain any left subtree now if i want to search phi in this tree first i'll compare 10 with phi right 10 is not equal to phi then i'll check whether data of the node phi is less than 10 true so i need to search in the left subtree but here we can see it doesn't contain any left subtree that means what left subtree is empty at that time we need to write the message node is not present in the tree if node is not present in the left side of this 10 root node then that means node is not present in the tree right this tree contains only root node and right subtree and phi is less than 10 if phi is present in tree then it must present in the left side of 10 because here this node doesn't contain any left subtree that means node is not found so when left subtree is empty that means node is not present in the tree and if left subtree contains one or more than one node what i need to do i need to perform search operation again on the left subtree i need to perform search operation again on the left subtree i need to call the search method again we are using recursive method here first i'll check if self dot l child so we are familiar with this condition right while explaining about the insert method i explained about this if self dot l child is present then that means left subtree is present it it can contain one or more than one node but left subtree is present if self dot l child is none that means root node doesn't contain any left subtree that means at that time left child is empty this condition becomes true only when left subtree is present if left subtree is present what i need to do i need to call search method again on left child passing data i need to call this method recursively self dot l child dot search you need to apply this search method on the self dot l child now else if self dot l child is not present if it is empty then just print a message that is node is not present and this is for the left subtree now again i need to do this for the right subtree in the right subtree also we will face the same condition if self dot r child if r child is present then I need to call this search method again recursively like this self dot r child dot search if it is not if it is empty then I need to print the message that is node is not present in the tree this message I will copy this and I will just paste this now we are done with the search operation first we need to check whether self key is equal to equal to data if it is true node is found if it is not then we will check whether data is less than self key if it is true that means the given node should be present in the left subtree so first i will check whether left subtree is present if it is present we will use this search method again on the left child if it is not then that means node is not present in that tree and this is for right child if this condition become false else part will be executed these are the three blocks here you can see all right now you may ask what about the duplicate values if you remember in the previous tutorial while writing the insert method we took this condition that means if duplicate values are present we'll ignore that that's why here i didn't wrote the condition for that while inserting the node if duplicate values are present it is ignored so that means our tree will not contain duplicate values so no need to write the condition for that here all right let's call this method and we'll see how it works right so now here we have a object root bst10 then we have list of value then we are using for loop and uh, we are calling insert method then after this i'll call search and i want to search six and here you can see six is present so i'll take six and let's execute this program save and execute node is found you can see this message now if i take 60 and if i execute that 60 is not present so i need to get the message as node 
node is not present in the tree. I hope now you are clear with the search method. Now quickly I'll explain you how this program works. So here we can see root BST 10. So 10 will be created first. Next here list 1. Next it will insert these values. First let me take 6. I'll check whether 6 is present in the tree or not. When it sees the call for search method, control will go here. Self is nothing but root. Data is nothing but 6. It will check whether self.key is equal to equal to data. No, self.key is 10 and data is 6. No. So it will check whether data is less than self.key. Yes, right. Data is 6, self.key is 10. So it is true. So it will check whether self L child is present. Here, yes, L child is present. So it will stop the execution of this and it will execute this search method for self.l child now so what it will do is so search method was applying for this whole tree now it will pause that and it will apply search method for this subtree now it is paused self is nothing but now this node and data is nothing but six so it will check self.key is equal to equal to data yes self.key is six and data is also six now it will print node is found message Next it will execute return statement. So now this function call is ended. So now it will start executing this function call. We were here and we don't have any other statement to execute. So this function ends and control will come back to here. And here we don't have any other statement after this. So it will end the execution of the program. Now if I take 60 here. So here data is 60 self is root. First it will check self.key is equal to equal to data. No, 60 is not equal to 10. So it will execute this data is less than self.key. No, data is 60, self.key is none. So it will execute else. It will check if self.rchild. Yes, self.rchild is present now. Right, it is true. So what it will do is it will execute this function called self.rchild.search. So now this will be paused and now it will execute this method for this here self is nothing but this now this node self dot r child this node so now it will execute if self dot key is equal to equal to data no data is 60 and its data is 98 no it will check whether data is less than self dot key true because data is 60 self dot key is 98 so it will check if self dot l child it doesn't have any l child so this condition become false it will execute else part node is not present in the tree so we'll get this message. It will print node is not present in tree. Now control will come back to this, this function call because this function call is executed properly you now. So control will come back to this. And we don't have any other statement after this, right? So it will stop the execution of this method and control will come back to here. We don't have any other statement to execute. So it will stop the execution of the program. So in this way, this method works. So that's it for now guys. If you have any confusion or doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care.